We know that the true Christ followers do not continue to sin. We know that the world is under the influence of the evil one. And we know that Jesus revealed the true God and the only salvation. That's what he concludes with in in verse 20. He says, and we know the Son of God has come and has given us understanding so that we may know the true one. We are in the true one. That is, in his Son, Jesus Christ, he is the true God and eternal life. There's that we know again. We are cognizant and aware of the reality that Jesus, the Son of God, has come. And we just talked about a couple weeks ago, I think it was, the, the testimony of Jesus' baptism revealing that he is indeed the Son of God. And then we saw the testimony of the crucifixion, that he indeed is the Son of God, the Savior of the world. And we saw the Spirit of God's testimony as he's described in 1 John. And then we also see the thousands, the millions upon millions of Christ's followers from the day Jesus left to now that have been changed and saved by his grace. There's a lot of evidence for Jesus, the Son of God, being who he says he is. To know that the Son of God has truly come is our confidence and it's our assurance for knowing we have eternal life. 